Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2601 as a special dedication to Jean. We've got 40 moves to reach. I believe it's going to be 200,000 points to get to one star. It's giving me a false target because I've already beaten this level. So the first thing I need to know about are these magic mixers. They're going to spew out ticking time bombs, which of course can be deadly and dangerous. So I want to try to remove these as quickly as possible. For every third, three turns that I take that I don't hit them, they can spew something out at me. And then every time I hit them, they lose a rivet until finally there are no rivets and then the machine blows up. It takes five hits. So let's see what we can do about removing these. I got that cleared out. Notice these are starting to fill up. I got that cleared out, but I can't get to these directly, can I? Uh, this is going to be a bit tough. And also, they send out ticking time bombs. Now, it used to be that the ticking time bombs were helpful. Oh, look at this. I can hit this directly. So there, we finally lost a screw there. These are about to spew things out. Uh, so it used to be that they were helpful and that... <laughs> cat's gone crazy. And that the um, if I matched a color bomb with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb, in this case it would be blue, I would get a huge number of points. And Gina's reported with several other people that that's not how things work these days. Notice how many stripes I set off to hit things. I would have loved to get gotten a stripe drive combo, but the stripe still hits here, and that's what we need to have happen. We need to get rid of especially these ticking time bumps now that they're purportedly not as helpful. Look at that. I only got 12,000 points just for hitting those. Now, I didn't send off a, a color bomb, so I do understand that principle that I haven't hit that, but it's going to be a hard climb to the top here if we're not making many points. So let's see, I could make another stripe here, but both of the stripes are a bit too low to be helpful to us. We've got ticking time bombs likely to kill us. Sometimes there's just not much we can do about that. I've got to get things changed here. need to be able to lift that up if I can, but I can't. So let's make that anyway. Okay. So if I can survive, I get a stripe draft combo. Now, here's the true test. When I hit the stripe draft combo, it's going to hit a color, and it's going to take out the most prevalent color, which I think is probably going to bl be blue at the time. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these guys. Or if it's green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. So it's a huge amount. So that's what should get us our points. And it was blue. And look at how few points we were able to accumulate there. So now we have this double problem of having to get points and having to stay alive. It is desperately tricky. So we have to come up with a new strategy to help us out. I know I see these. I'm planning to. Oh, that was a close one. <gasps> oh, look at that. I messed up. Okay, but I did prove, I didn't realize I had so many low set ticking time bombs. I did prove that this issue of points is extremely difficult. So my new strategy is going to be still to make um, color bombs and match them with the color of the most prevalent whatever on the board, candy on the board. It doesn't matter about the ticking time bombs now. So we're going to have to do that and uh, hope for the best. We're also going to be making striped wrapped combos because striped wrapped combos will also give us hopefully a large number of points. It's going to be really rough to try to get to 200,000 points and uh, and hopefully this is a glitch and King changes it. But it seems like because it's across many different levels, they've changed the algorithms. Not quite sure why. And, and on some of them, I know that they've accounted for it by reducing the number of moves or the number of points that you have to get. And on this level, they haven't. So we're going to have to struggle along under the new rules unless King changes things back. Be right back with a new board in just a bit. So my new job is, I'm not going to try to take out these licorice because they're not helping me get to this directly. Once this becomes candy, it'll help me get to it. So I'm going to work on making color bombs in here. So I took out a lot of green because I didn't have much green on the board. That helps a little bit, but 
I wasn't able to get color bomb material here. Purple is also a color that isn't very prevalent. Now, can I try to set up something with the blue? Not quite. Oh, I should probably do that. I do have to worry about these guys. So I can hit that directly. Ah, now I got the blue. So now definitely I want to do something like this, and that's going to help over here. It's not going to help at the other areas, though, unfortunately. Unless I can get more orange where I need it. Nope. So let's see how this works for our points. That's a way to help get our points to climb. Color bomb wrapped candy combo. Now we've seen that's a good combo here. So when they take away something, we have to figure out then what our new strategy is going to be. And that turned into a fairly decent opportunity for us. Now, I would love to get these combos going if I can. There we go. So I can hit both of these, all three of these actually, and take out some of these dangerous ticking time bombs. And um, let's see what kind of points we get from this combo. Not much. We didn't get, get much at all from that. So it looks like the color bomb wrapped combo is going to be one of our best. We still have dangerous ticking time bombs. And I have to stay alive for all of these moves. Sometimes when you first play a level, ooh, here we go, we're setting that up. Sometimes when you first play a level, they will um, end the level as soon as you get that. Hmm. That first star. It's still so far away. Look at that. Set at two. This is our this is our new world here. It's hard to focus on getting the points we need and taking these out. We knew it was going to be tough. I'm just going to blow things up here. I know it's not going to help, but uh, it'll help us determine what kind of points we get. Wrapped candies seem to be working really well. And I want to leave this as an example because even though I failed miserably, we did see a, a, an increase in points. And we need to keep looking at ways to change the strategy. Okay, so back to it. Now I'm just going to keep playing. I will um, hopefully show you a win soon. But this is a super hard level made extraordinarily difficult by the new rule. So I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while. All right, so I can make a wrapped candy here. That's good. Always good to have a wrapped candy. I can't, don't see a way to adjust that green down. But I do have a stripe here, which is nice, maybe. And now nothing good. There we go. Strike that. Make more stripes and try to align them correctly. That's always the tough part. Okay, color bomb. I can't make a color bomb matched with a wrapped because this wrapped would blow up and hit this. Unless, no, still it's not going to work. This is my best bet, and it's also going to help with these ticking time bombs that are already on the board. And, of course, the magic mixers. So there we go. That was helpful. Now what? Yikes. Okay, striped wrapped combo maybe? Nope. Just a lot of explosions, which is helping with our points value a little. This poor guy here really lost when it came to getting struck by everything. But we reduced the um, danger of the ticking time bombs again. So... Now what? I don't want the blue to group together. Okay, color bomb, right? Color bomb matched. We want a blue right here. We want as many blue as we can get on the board, but blue right there is definitely uh, required. And then we've got this here. This is good and it's going to give us points. So hopefully we get rid of the danger and we collect points. 
Okay. So at this point in time, Jean, this is now completely a points level. The danger is gone. All of that work, and we still only have about half the points we need. We know that a color bomb rat combo is spectacular on this board. What about a color bomb striped? I haven't noticed whether or not those are the points we need. And here's the dilemma, because a color bomb stripe, once I use it, it's not only going to take out the green, it's going to take out all these other colors too, and then everything is going to kind of come down in an even mix, because it's going to remove stripes of things. Whereas if I just take out green, then it concentrates the colors down, and there's less green on the board, so there's a, a greater saturation of the remaining colors, therefore it would be more likely that I would be able to make more matches and specials. I really have to modify how I do this, though, and I haven't experimented with this. And so I feel like I feel like what I'm going to do is pause the recording, check this out on another profile, see if a color bomb stripe gives me points, and then come back and finish this level. Because that's why I have extra profiles, so I can do stuff like that. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so obviously this is not our last board. And here's the thing. I've already got the points I need on this. Somehow, just starting with the striped rat and color bomb, I was able to accumulate a lot of points. And honestly, I was so focused on waiting until I got a stripe and a color bomb together that I didn't pay attention as to how those were accumulated. And I didn't have it recorded. Um, so the, uh, the tricky thing is... Is this profile suffering from the same problems as the other one, or is that a test group that's going on? This gets very complex, but let's see how many points we get from this. So we're at 208,000 points. If I do this, it doesn't increase dramatically, does it? It doesn't. So... Let's, I'm going to pause the recording again and try to figure out what to do next to um, keep experimenting with this and find out what the solution is. Be right back. So here we are back to the level I'm trying to beat and I did a bit more experimenting. I did check to see if a color bomb matched with the color of a prevalent ticking time bomb actually did give me more points on that profile. I was hopeful that maybe that some of us are just in this test group. Unfortunately, no. I didn't get good points from a color bomb match with the color of a ticking time bomb. So um, as far as I can tell, it's across the board for all of us that this problem exists. I also played around a little bit more with matching a color bomb with a stripe and then a color bomb with a regular color. And here's what I found. This doesn't get us a whole lot of points, but <sighs> concentrating the colors down to get more color bombs that also don't give us many points. That's, I mean, unless we get the magic of getting it mixed with a wrapped candy, I'm not seeing a significant points boost. So I think this will actually give us the most upset on the board. So it'll give us the best chance of kind of creating a new palette here to see what we can do, which I'm going to focus as much as I can on making wrapped candies. Can I get an orange in here to make a wrapped candy? Yes, I can. So let's see about a wrapped wrapped combo. How much would that get us? I could do this, but I really want to experiment and see about these combo opportunities. Not much. Ah, and you can see we're getting close. This is the point in time where it's probably advisable to think about using some, you know, boosters that you've got here, the in-game boosters, to try to increase the points that are accumulating. I just wish the striped wrapped were as valuable as they used to be. It's just a hard point accumulation there. Let's blow up some wrapped candies. See if we can get something else on the board here. Huh. There's a lot of blue there. Well, this is the way I could do it. I could do a switch hand and move this 
to make a color bomb to match it with purple. That would be the points I need. The question is, do I want to spend all of this time that I've invested, which really it's my 15th playthrough, so it's not a huge amount of time, but it is still hard to get this set up. And I, I just have the feeling that the more quickly I can get this information out to people, the better off I'm going to be. Sometimes when they change things on us, it's important to just kind of, you know, give give them what they want, which is us using boosters. Although I never, ever, ever spend any money on boosters. So I see two different ways to try to get a color bomb. One is to move the blue here and go this way. Another is to move the blue here and go this way. I'm seeing if there's any organic way to do this on the board. If I try to move this blue out of the way to get another blue, well, I'll be taking that blue out so that doesn't work. If I try to drop this blue down to see if another blue is on top, then I would be taking out the blue so that doesn't work. So at this point in time, I can hope that I get some good stuff or I can set it up with a win. I'm going to set it up with a win. You guys need to see as quickly as possible what's happening on this board. So that, oh look, you get points in Fantastic Five for using a booster. Isn't that ridiculous? So that we can see at least a reasonable way to get this done. You have to be able to see how to beat this level. A color bomb wrapped candy is the way to go, but just one isn't going to be sufficient for points. You need more than one of those. I mean, I think, I don't know, I've done so many different things now. I can't remember what I've already done on this board, but I think that's not my first one. Might not even be my second one. So that's how I beat the board using a booster based on the new rules. You have to get rid of those magic mixers first because they're no longer any help. They give us ticking time bombs that do not help us. So Jean, that's the first thing to focus on, on this particular level. And then with every other level where they have changed the algorithm and, and how things work, we have to figure out then what's the next best way to get points. So far on this level, it's a color bomb wrapped candy combo. If this was helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. I really want you to participate in this one and give your comments about your experiences. If you have found anything else that's going to be a huge points boost, I'm going to continue to experiment, but it's kind of tough when they throw out new rules and don't quite explain what those rules are. I'll also uh, try to contact King and do some investigative work that way, but they're not terribly responsive in a lot of cases, so we'll see how that goes. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.